Hello, my name is Ted Lederer, and today we're at the Alliance Francaise in Vancouver with artist Julien Leger. Julien, we're sitting here in the middle of your exhibition. What do you call this exhibition? Mountain Whisper. Why Mountain Whisper? It's the idea was to recreate nine of the, my favorite grandiose landscape of mountains that I visited around the world. And the whisper is the poetry behind those landscapes when you experience them. Right. And so tell me about your journeys. Where are you from and where have you traveled to? So I'm originally from the south of France. I grew up in Montpellier and I traveled every year for two to three months with my family, going around Europe in every uh, countries and every big cities related to my uh, dad's job. He's doing research in medicine. Did you get to visit art galleries along the way in different yeah, countries? Yeah, they were taking us to uh, all the greatest museum of Europe and the greatest cities to, to discover the architecture, the landscape and the culture. Did you start painting at an early age? Yeah, I've been painting since I was very, very young with my grandfather. He was himself a painter, a sculptor, but an architect as well. You are an architect. Do you see yourself more as an architect or an artist? I always start with the word artist, yes. and I finish with the word architecture. And so tell me about your grandfather. and How did he teach you how to paint? But he was... Um, he was an so architect and a painter, but he was also a teacher at the uh, Ecole des Beaux-Arts in Paris in the 30s or 40s. And so when I was going to visit them, or when he was coming to visit us, which was quite often during the year, he was always giving me photocopies of his drawings to, for me to color at a very young age. So that's how I started as uh, three, four, five years old. Yes. And then I developed that with him and he pushed my abstraction into my painting at a very, very young age, completely in opposition with himself and what he was doing. His work was very literal and figurative. What is the process for you? What I, what I do when I paint is I do it first for the fun of it and the enjoyment of it. And the more free you are, the more enjoyment you're going to have with the elements, the tools and the painting itself. And that's pure abstraction. But pure abstraction is fun, but I need to come back to create some uh, image that relates more to everybody and not only myself. And also because when the painting I do mainly is for my house and my walls and I like to have a variety of different kinds and that's probably how it started that I never forgot any style that I've discovered and I keep on working them side by side. So maybe tell me a little bit about what kind of paints are you actually using on your canvas? So mainly it would be a mix of uh, oil paint, house paint, I use mainly house paint because of the viscosity. It's very liquid and uh, very um, malleable and practical for the, the gesture that I'm going to use with a thicker paint like uh, oil in two. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not the same technique. And um, so oil, acrylic, and lacquer. I also play with the sheen of the paint, with, with a matte paint or a uh, glossy paint to have different contrasts again with a different material, not only contrast with the color, which is the light, but the, uh, the sheen as well. And also, how are you applying that? Are you throwing the paint? or uh, So what is the process of applying the paint? That I cast the paint. So I use different tools that could be prefab or that I made myself in order to create different results that I've controlled over time with experience. Do you have people that you look to historically um, that inform your work, that, that you look at and you say, oh, I, I love that work. This is, this is important to me. Yeah, no, definitely. My, my favorite painting is The Starry Night of Vincent Van Gogh. And uh, Van Gogh is the most important painter in my life. And in opposition to that, I, uh, Salvador Dali is very influential okay. to uh, my, my life. How this affects your life and, and how this filters throughout the rest of your 
what you do. I, I try to live the moment and every day as, a, as my last day. Do you think that having a family changes you as an artist? Completely. I'm not completely loose anymore like I was before. Now we have kids, we have a family, and it gives me more uh, purpose into going further and deeper into my art and my architecture, to be more structured and more responsible about my work. Where are you going with your work? But I'm working on it, I'm working hard towards a goal to reach the ability to create beautiful things for the most, most amount of viewers and not only just one person that would like that painting. I, I'm working towards that, I think, to be able to, uh, to understand my audience as much as I can. I produce so much that I won't enjoy myself all, to, all that work. So in a sense, that's why I say it's done for the rest of humanity. Thank you for, for this interview. It's a real pleasure. Thank you very much for having me.